Yeah, so... Do you remember the trials we were talking about earlier, Fable? Hello, Link Bros. But yeah, I was telling Fable about the trials... Or, he was telling me about the trials, actually. Of some of Stardew's chapters have for their acolytes, or, you know. Yeah, there, some of them are extremely stupid, and some of them make sense. But a lot of them have to do with pushing your... Uh, pushing the initiatives to their extreme. Or, right. you know, making them drink the blood of Sanguinius and then putting them in the coffin for a year. And if they go crazy, well, good luck to you. I mean, they are really nice vampires. But anyway, uh, the Gate of Morik is the one we're watching today. Mac, don't make me put on the pain glove. Magic pain glove. Tell Fable what he must do. Yes, and my and my freaking hand just falls off. I am no longer in need of your service. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh fuck! My camera lost connection to my he's model. So, he's uh, so stupid. Yes, yes, he is. He's a very silly boy. That's just a. I disagree. Well, you're gonna be glad we're gonna see a lot more of Rogel Dorn later. I'm so happy because I love the way he talks. It's, it's just so stupid and funny. The one thing I will say about Rogel is he's very upfront about everything, but he's also a really good dad. He is a good dad. Like, his sons know what to do even when he's not there, which is really good. Anyway, the Gate of Mork. This is the Space the Wolves. Will behold the Gate of Morkai. Your Morkai. final trails and aspirate to the red. Beyond this, there is no return save as one worthy to belong to the wolves in body and in soul. I am uh, priest. What shall I expect of this trial? Hurry, oh, here's no. what will happen. You listen and let it. I'm listening. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. You walk uh, through this archway. Uh-huh. A squid will scream at you. Uh -huh. If you get a boner, we're uh -huh. killing you. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean? Here's Clint Boyle. What is it you don't understand? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Am I fighting a kraken? <laughs> Why are we so deep in the edge? Because <laughs> what's with this gate? I rolled from this vulva. You're whining like a thrall wolf lad. No, seriously, I don't understand. You have to I throw you into the fire pit so the demons can consume your soul. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this. I don't know that much about the space wolves. God damn it, m me and my camera. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why my camera is having a terrible day. I the space. I don't know much about the space wolves. I know you know the basic stuff. They're the space wolves, Lehman Russ. There's just one big legion and the wolven thing. I like them well enough, but the Viking stuff has never really clicked with me. But I don't know anything about any of this. know about the space wolves is that before the 44th millennium a lot of people weren't really the biggest fans of them because they were very hardcore in their ways but after Lehman Russ left and in the future they kind of lightened up on a lot of stuff yeah which people can appreciate because they were really gun ho about being stupid about junk well they're really nice compared to a lot of the other Astartes chapters and actually yeah, do save they... people They've, they've calmed down since then. That's why people like them now. Yeah. In there! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, son. Want to change your ways? What is this? I can get you a cheap haircut and a cool new financial advisor if you get oh yourself to be a period. No! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your economical instability. No! <laughs> 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 Keep away! Why am I naked? You're a strong one, laddie. No flags risen. <laughs> oh. Good thing they didn't use the word. So Sink is a giant nerd and right he's offering right financial point. support. Oh Apparently. my god. Just shove the Canis Helix <laughs> into my face and throw me out into the wilderness now, please, and thank you. <laughs> Father Willing! <laughs> oh, oh good, cause neither do I. This actually there's actually a story I do like about the, uh, about the Space Wolves. Well, I thought it was kind of sad because how it ended. Yeah. Uh, basically, during the Great Crusade, 
one um during Great Crusade, one space wolf was sent to I think it was a captain or a sergeant was sent to a planet to try to get it into uh, okay. was went to a planet to try to get it to uh, comply and join the Imperium. He gave a story about everything and the elders Oof. didn't want to join because it was one of those planets. Oh. Basically, a young a young la- uh, like a young boy told him, Hey, we need your help to get rid of a Xenos invasion. I think it was like the Dark Eldar that took over or whatever. Yeah. Basically, they worked together and got rid of the Eldar. And at the end, the uh, at the end, the Space Wolf held out his hand and said, "Well, now that your planet's uh-huh. free, you can join the Imperium." And the boy looked at him and said, "You're telling us to trade to trade. Uh, you basically helped us rid a rid a tri- uh, tyrant, and you're asking us to be controlled by another one." The space wolf looked at him and said, "Please, lad, you don't know what you're doing. Just, just please comply." And the yeah. boy said, "No." And he looked at him and said, "I tried." And sadly, what should have been a peaceful negotiation ended up beco- ended up destroying an entire village because of stubbornness. Yeah, it stubbornness. really sucks because, like, yeah. he literally tried to be diplomatic about it. He tried his best. Oh, they're in VR chat right yeah, here. Did, but the young boy only saw it as trading one t- uh, tyrant, tyrant for, for another, another, and he made and it made sense. Yes, but, it, but yeah, but at least they would have been at least thousands of lives would have been spared. Yeah, but no, yeah. but no, Sadly, no. no, no, only death. In the far yeah. distant world of the forty-second millennia, there is only war. Yeah. No peace, no happiness, except for. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Caiaphas Cain died happy because he's dead. Until he comes back as a living saint. He's not gonna be a saint! <laughs> you can't stop it! Why do you want him to suffer? Because it's his job. He is the em- he is the emperor's finest. No, he can't be a saint. You know what happens when saints come back. They literally die in the warp and are, and are shredded to pieces and crap. It's horrifying. Listen, they come back each time. It's fine. Look at yeah, the dreamer. After they fight, <laughs> oh my god. After they fight, like, for thousands of bajillions of years just to not get eaten by demons. What? <laughs> anyway. Right, See you in a bit.